When you hear the word Hollywood actors, you imagine pretty faces with perfect dimensions. But that's not the case with everyone. Hollywood also has people who do not fit the conventional category of pretty or handsome. From Danny Trejo to John C. Riley, here are the actors who are considered ugly in Hollywood. Let's talk about them. Ripping a plane. I, that's, I watch that movie. Well, listen, man. Pleasure to have you. Yeah. And, you know. Number 18, Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo is a well known American actor, celebrated for his roles as tough characters in various movies. He's notably collaborated with director Robert Rodriguez on several films like Desperado, From Dust Till Dawn, The Spy Kids series, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, Grindhouse, Machete, and its sequel, Machete Kills. Trejo's rugged and intense performances have made him a recognizable face in Hollywood. However, people have often commented on his appearance, as he does not fit the category of conventionally handsome or good looking. But regardless of his appearance, he has proved his mettle as a capable artist. Number 17. Samantha Morton Samantha Morton, an accomplished English actress, gained widespread recognition for her role in the classic film Jane Eyre. But that's not all she did. In fact, she's a zombie favorite too. In the category of zombie drama, Morton's acting stands out, showcasing her extensive experience in delivering nuanced performances seen in various independent films. A significant career moment arrived when filmmaker Terry Gilliam considered Morton to be the ideal fit for the lead role in his 2005 fantasy film, The Brothers Grimm. Gilliam admired her talent and believed she could bring death to the character. However, her chance was unexpectedly halted by producer Harvey Weinstein, who shockingly dismissed her casting, citing she was too fat for the part. Consequently, Lena Headey, renowned for her role in Game of Thrones, took on the role of Angelica in the film. Despite this setback and her categorization as ugly, Morton's undeniable acting continues to shine through her diverse and challenging roles. Number 16. Richard Keel Richard Keel, born in 1939, was primarily recognized for his distinctive appearance and notable roles in films. Keel gained widespread attention for portraying the character Jaws in the 1970s James Bond series, particularly for his role as the antagonist with metal teeth. Standing over 7 feet tall and weighing more than 300 pounds, Kiel's physical stature was remarkable. His unique appearance was because of a hormonal disorder called acromegaly, often associated with gigantism. His condition caused certain bones in his hands, feet, and face to enlarge over time, contributing to his striking and imposing presence on screen. Despite his intimidating physical features, Kiel was not only known for his ability to portray menacing characters, but also his versatility in using his appearance to elicit both fear and humor. His portrayal of Jaws in the James Bond series, along with his roles in films like Happy Gilmore and Pale Rider, showcased his ability to captivate audiences with his imposing stature and expression. Number 15. Rupert Grint Rupert Grint, the man behind our favorite red-haired wizard, Ron Weasley from the Harry Potter series, is also considered ugly in Hollywood. Fans might not scream heartthrob when they see him, but there's something about his easygoing vibe that draws people in. Rupert's done some cool projects post-Magic World, like the TV series Snatch and other movie projects. He's got his laid-back, approachable aura that makes him likable, but most people do not consider him as a conventionally handsome. Some even go out and call him ugly. Number 14. Bill Cosby Bill Cosby, a prominent American stand-up comedian and actor, gained fame through his contributions to iconic films like Ghost Dad and Man and Boy. Despite his immense success in the entertainment industry, Cosby faced severe allegations of sexual assault by over 50 women, including accusations of rape, sexual battery, child sexual abuse, and misconduct, which he consistently denied. Eventually, he was found guilty of aggravated indecent assault. However, the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania overturned his conviction in 2021. Also, as he aged, his facial expressions and changes in physical appearance became a subject of discussion among the public and media, often being perceived as less affable or likable by some individuals. These aspects of his appearance occasionally became intertwined with the broader conversation about his controversial reputation and legal issues. Number 13. Adam Driver Adam Driver, an accomplished actor known for his versatile performances, has received widespread acclaim for his work in various film and television projects. Despite his talent and compelling acting skills, 
Driver's appearance has been a topic of conversation among some who do not consider him conventionally attractive. However, this perception of his looks has not deterred the appreciation for his acting prowess. Many admire Driver for his dedication to his craft, his ability to embody diverse characters with depth and authenticity, and his compelling on-screen presence. His remarkable performances in films like Marriage Story, Black Klansman, and his role as Kylo Ren in the Star Wars sequel trilogy have earned him critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base, showcasing that talent often transcends societal standards of physical attractiveness. Number 12. Michael Berryman Michael Berryman, born Michael John Berryman on September 4, 1948, is an American actor known for his distinctive appearance, often portraying characters in horror films due to his unique physical features. Berryman was born with a condition called hypohydrotic ectodermal dysplasia, which affected his hair, fingernails, and teeth, resulting in his unique and striking appearance. He has a hairless head and no fingernails or sweat glands, making him easily recognizable in the entertainment industry. Throughout his career, Michael Berryman became associated with roles in horror films, often portraying eerie or menacing characters. He gained significant attention for his role as Pluto in Wes Craven's horror film The Hills Have Eyes in 1977, which became one of his most notable and iconic roles. His distinctive appearance and ability to embody menacing and otherworldly characters made him a sought-after actor in the horror genre. Despite primarily being associated with horror films, Berryman showcased his versatility by appearing in a variety of roles across different genres, including science fiction and thrillers. He appeared in films such as One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Weird Science, demonstrating his ability to portray a range of characters beyond the horror genre. Number 11. DJ Qualls DJ Qualls, born Donald Joseph Qualls on June 10, 1978, is an American actor and model known for his distinctive appearance, comedic talents, and versatile acting roles across film and television. He gained initial recognition for his breakout role as the nerdy and endearing college student Kyle Edwards in the comedy film Road Trip 2000. Qualls' portrayal of the socially awkward character earned him praise and showcased his ability to bring humor and authenticity to his performances. Throughout his career, DJ Qualls appeared in a variety of films and television shows, often portraying quirky or offbeat characters. He starred in movies like The New Guy, The Core, and Hustle and Flow. Additionally, he's been part of TV series such as Supernatural, Scrubs, and Breaking Bad, among others, displaying his versatility across different genres. Qualls' unique appearance, characterized by his tall and slender physique, has made him stand out in Hollywood. He's known for his distinctive features and unconventional charm, which have contributed to the memorable characters he's portrayed on screen. But many people, and his critics, have gone out to call him ugly, but we cannot shy away from the fact that this guy has got talent, and he has used it to his advantage. Number 10. Clint Howard Clint Howard is an American actor, known for his extensive career in film and television, often appearing in supporting roles. He is the younger brother of acclaimed filmmaker and actor Ron Howard. Throughout his career, Clint Howard has amassed a vast number of acting credits across various genres, showcasing his versatility as a character actor. He has appeared in numerous films and TV shows, often in roles that highlight his unique appearance and distinctive features. Clint Howard's distinctive looks, characterized by his small eyes, bald head, and unique facial features, have made him a recognizable figure in Hollywood. While his appearance might not conform to traditional Hollywood standards, he has used his distinct appearance and carved out a niche for himself in the entertainment industry. Number 9. Marty Feldman Marty Feldman was an English comedian actor and writer best known for his distinctive appearance, comedic talent, and contributions to British comedy. Feldman gained prominence for his notable bulging eyes, a feature that became a trademark of his comedic persona. His eyes were a result of Graves' ophthalmopathy, a complication of his thyroid condition, as well as a childhood injury, a car accident, and subsequent reconstructive eye surgery. He rose to fame as a comedy writer for various British television shows, including The Army Game and Bootsy and Snudge, before becoming a prominent figure in the groundbreaking television sketch comedy series At Last, the 1948 show alongside John Cleese, Graham Chapman, and others. Marty Feldman's talent extended to acting, where he gained recognition for his roles in films such as Young Frankenstein, 1974, directed by Mel Brooks, and portraying Igor, a character that capitalized on his unique appearance and comedy timing. He also starred in the last remake of Bo Guest, and even directed the film. Number 8. Sandra Bernhard 
Sandra Bernhardt is an American comedian, actress, singer, and author, known for her outspoken and edgy style of comedy, as well as her versatility across various entertainment mediums. Bernhardt gained recognition in the late 1970s for her stand-up comedy, which often blended satire, social commentary, and biting humor. She was known for her frank and unapologetic approach to topics such as celebrity culture, politics, and gender dynamics, making her stand-up routines both provocative and thought-provoking. Apart from her successful career in comedy, Sandra Bernhard got into acting, appearing in numerous films and television shows. She gained attention for her role in Martin Scorsese's film The King of Comedy, 1982, alongside Robert De Niro. Bernhard's portrayal of the obsessive and ambitious fan, Masha, showcased her acting talent and added to her reputation as a versatile performer. But despite her doing so much in her career, people have passed comments on her appearance, calling her ugly and whatnot. Number 7. Willem Dafoe Willem Dafoe, an esteemed figure in the acting world, is instantly recognizable for his unique and intense facial features, including sharp angels and a captivating countenance. Over the span of more than 40 years, he has established himself as a versatile actor known for portraying diverse and often complex characters, frequently taking on compelling antagonistic roles. Defoe's ability to captivate audiences with his commanding presence and multifaceted performances has earned him widespread acclaim and recognition across the cinematic landscape. Number 6. Steve Buscemi Steve Buscemi isn't your typical Hollywood heartthrob. He's a highly praised actor known for portraying both sinister antagonists and comedic sidekicks. Despite not fitting the conventional standards of Hollywood beauty, Buscemi's distinctive appearance and undeniable charisma always captivate audiences whenever he graces the screen. He's broken through Hollywood stereotypes, establishing himself as a prominent actor with remarkable performances in iconic productions like The Big Lebowski, The Sopranos, and Boardwalk Empire. Number 5. Whoopi Goldberg Whoopi Goldberg, born Karen Elaine Johnson on November 13, 1955, is an American actress, comedian, author, and television personality. She gained widespread recognition for her versatile talents and contributions across various entertainment mediums. Goldberg's acting career took off with her breakout role in Steven Spielberg's film The Color Purple, 1985, where her portrayal of Sally earned her critical acclaim and her first Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Her powerful performance showcased her acting prowess and established her as a significant talent in Hollywood. Throughout her career, Whoopi Goldberg starred in numerous iconic films, including Sister Act 1992 and its sequel, Ghost 1990, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit 1993, The Lion King 1994, as the voice of Shenzi, the hyena, and The View. In addition to her acting achievements, Goldberg is known for her candid and often humorous demeanor. She's an outspoken advocate for various social causes, including human rights and women's rights. But people have often categorized her as a not-so-pretty actor. But her work speaks, and that is what her fans will remember her for. Number 4. Vern Troyer Vern Troyer was an American actor, known for his unique stature and acting roles, particularly for portraying Mini-Me in the Austin Powers film series. Troyer was born with a rare genetic disorder, called cartilage hair hypoplasia, which resulted in his dwarfism. Standing at 2 feet 8 inches tall, he was one of the shortest men in the world. Despite his physical condition, Troyer managed to establish a successful career in the entertainment industry. His breakout role as Mini-Me, the diminutive clone of Dr. Evil, played by Mike Myers in the Austin Powers films. His performance as Mini-Me, characterized by his comedic timing and physical acting, gained him widespread recognition and made him a memorable part of the film series. Apart from his role in the Austin Powers movies, Vern Troyer appeared in various films and television shows, showcasing his talent and versatility as an actor. He became a well-known figure in Hollywood, using his unique physical attributes to land roles that highlighted his talent and contributed to his popularity in the entertainment industry. Number 3. Carrot Top Carrot Top, whose real name is Scott Thompson, is a comedian and actor known for his distinctive appearance and high-energy comedy routines. Born on February 25, 1965, Carrot Top rose to prominence due to his vibrant red hair, hence the stage name Carrot Top. He gained popularity for his stand-up comedy acts, which often incorporated props, clever jokes, and wordplay. Carrot Top's performances frequently featured him utilizing a wide array of props, ranging from everyday items to unconventional objects creatively incorporated into his comedic routines. Over time, his appearance has undergone significant changes, notably around his eyes, 
leading to a dramatic and cartoonish look. Despite these alterations, he maintains an enthusiastic and candid persona, sparking discussions and varied opinions about his appearance in the public eye. Number 2. John C. Riley. John C. Riley, a versatile character actor, has built a career portraying a wide array of characters. From endearing schlubs to menacing figures, growing up in Chicago, Riley started his acting journey in local stages before formal training and joining Steppenwolf Theatre. His breakthrough came with roles in films like Heart 8 and Magnolia, showcasing his diverse acting abilities. Despite not fitting Hollywood's typical leading man mold, Riley's commitment to his craft shines through his impactful performances. He's taken on a broad range of roles, from serious dramas like The Aviator and We Need to Talk About Kevin, to uproarious comedies such as Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story, and Step Brothers. Riley's work has garnered acclaim, earning him nominations including an Academy Award nod for Chicago. Despite not being conventionally attractive by Hollywood standards, his acting has earned him widespread recognition and respect within the industry. Number 1. Forrest Stephen Whitaker Forrest Stephen Whitaker is a highly respected actor known for his incredible talent. He gained widespread recognition and won prestigious awards like the Academy Award, Golden Globe, and BAFTA for his gripping portrayal of Ugandan dictator Idi Amin in the movie The Last King of Scotland, 2006. His achievement as the fourth African-American male to win the Best Actor Oscar cemented his place among legendary actors like Sidney Poitier and Denzel Washington. Aside from his acting, Forrest Whitaker is recognized for his philanthropy. He supports causes such as abuse teenagers through Penny Lane, animal rights advocacy with PETA, and humanitarian efforts with Hope North Ugandan Orphanage. His dedication to these causes showcases his commitment to making a positive difference in the world. But despite all of that, he is often criticized for his looks. But barring this, he has proved his mettle, time and again. What's crazy is the fact that Whitaker's achievements are often overshadowed by his looks only because they are not the way a standard, handsome man in Hollywood would look like. These actors have accomplished many feats throughout their careers. Therefore, their exclusion from the category of pretty does not diminish or detract from their immense talent and contributions to the entertainment industry. And with that, we are done for today.